My name is Peter Sun. I'm from Tsinghua University, China. Uh, this worker is a cooperation with Huawei Corporation and uh, Hebei University of Technology. From this title of this paper, uh, uh, we are focusing on the how to recommend uh, games to the users, and we want to find the users who will pay more of the recommended games. So uh, it's our main target of this task. However, uh, it's a very challenging task. Why? Uh, let me ask yourself one question. Do you know how you pay for something in the future? Uh, sorry, it's, it might be not good. So I, I don't know you see it again, thank you. Uh, actually, I think the answer to this question is no. Uh, because, so, so for, for our, for the developer, it's even more changing because we don't know ourselves how, how we will pay for something. So for others, they also don't know. But, but does it mean, uh, yeah, uh, I also, uh, maybe uh, it's a very changing task. So um, you might be curious about this question. It's, to, it's very changing and it uh, seems impossible. So why do I still insist on this task? Uh, and, ask, and I will have another question. Uh, is, a, is, is it possible to predict how much a, we, a user will spend on the product in the future? And as for the first question, uh, my answer is because it's my boss arranged the task, so I have to do it. And for the second question, uh, yeah, yeah, finally, our, uh, it's a good news. Actually, our previous method uh, helps the company achieve 80.43 percentage information in our recommendation scenarios now. It's online. So, okay. Uh, so uh, I will use these questions to lead you to understand what I, what we have done. So uh, what did I do to achieve the, achieve the huge improvement? Okay, that's the one thing. Uh, the thing is uh, thinking, thinking that night. So so yes, sir. No, 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 no joke anymore. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, I I think uh, this task can be converted into another thing. We don't, uh, we don't predict the user spending value more accurately. What we care about is how to find the users, uh, how to understand why, uh, why they will pay more, and which kind of things they will pay more in the future. Uh, and I found the answer is we will pay more for the products we love. So next, I, uh, as I'm, as my uh, research interest is the uh, recommender system, we always analyze uh, analysis uh, user's behaviors. Uh, we want to find something, uh, how, to, how to find the, the thing you love. So we inspired by the collaborative, collaborative filtering signal, and we created the, created the target user's interest. Never consumer games as the target user love games. So it's our main assumption in our work. <coughs> However, uh, does it, uh, is everything over? Can we achieve our final model according to the assumption? And the answer is also no, because we met another critical issue. Uh, the per, uh, let me see uh, what's the critical issue. Yeah, we have done a preliminary experiment. We found under the observed spending money, on, when we create the money as the levels, we will find uh, uh, compared with the bar, com compared with uh, com compared with the baseline, we found that we train the same model twice. We found their losses are the similar, but their evaluation matrix are very very different. So, so it uh, so it leads to a science problem in in, in this task. And I, uh, and this one is uh, two losses, our same model is similar to each other, but the gap of the value matrix is very large. So uh, following, we also try to understand why it appears and how to address its issue. Um, we uh, analyzed analyze the, the level we collected and also the ground truth we collected, just like uh, the spending value, spending money, like in this table. We uh, we summarize three points. 
there are many many zero values and the then the value variance is very high and there are also many extreme extreme spending values in in the ground truth levels so it leads this is an issue we found to address this issue we proposed a framework we you we we aim to we aim to get a get a framework which can help us to do design some to 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 help us um, uh expanding the model design to train the model stable and get a, a get a better 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 performers just uh, uh, I I I don't I don't want to give more details about this framework because it's not uh, it's not very very difficult to understand. And you are interested in this work, you can read our paper. I just give you some conclusion. Uh, our our proposed framework. So the following, I will uh I am to answer this question. Uh, can our proposed framework measure the trend models? Uh, losses. Consistent with the evaluation matrix, it's uh, it's it's just the it's just the, the issue we met before, and and based on some uh, experiments, we have tested we have tested the availability and stability of our proper framework with the two experiments, and from the left uh, left uh, figure we can find the performance of the model at at the time our testing is consistent with the loss at the time of training. So it's, uh, it's our conclusion. And from another one, uh, we just uh, to verify the importance of our label standardization strategy. Yeah, okay. Let's back to our previous issue again. Is everything over? Yeah, uh, we have framework now. And uh, we also, we also, uh, we, uh, please, please back to our main target. We want to find users who will pay more for the recommended game. So next is how to design a model based on our proposed framework. Okay, the answer, uh, as we know, uh, I just said it before, the answer of the, uh, uh, we, uh, what we can do for this task is find the user, find, find the, the products which satisfy the users. So. So we just uh, uh, design model to insert is a collective feature uh, signal uh, to this to the to this uh, production model. Uh, the the gray the 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 model with the gray color means the previous production model, and the colorful colorful model means the, the collaborative feature feature model we proposed, and it's very. Though it's very simple, but it's very effective. We, uh, after design the model, we test the stability of it based on our proposed framework. And we can find the effectiveness of our proposed model can be verified. Uh, it uh, outperforms the design way too. It's a very popular and widely used container web model. And uh, based on, and uh, we also test the stability of our personal new model. It can also verify the based on our, our proposed uh, metrics. And we also test our model's performance on both offline and online tests. All the offline test, our proposed model can achieve at most 24% improvement. And on the online A-B test, we have we have tested the, the performance experience uh, with a two week observation, a uh, thirty percent uh, uh, traffic, and uh, and the result me results uh assure that it can achieve fifty percent revenue improvement. So uh, the conclusion uh, conclusion is uh, we have uh, saw uh, have uh, saw this uh, this task in some extent and. Uh, and uh, uh, and we have achieved a good uh, result. Uh, okay, this is the future work. We 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 also find something we can do more about this work, uh, such as model general generalization and stability. And uh, how can we apply this proposed method to some new applications? Uh, okay, I have finished my uh, my presentation, and uh, these are some 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 thoughts about my paper. So if you are interested in my paper, uh, you can uh, take a photo of this one. Thank you.